really interesting to watch like a world champion, top of the food chain, one of the greatest of all time, boxers, see some shit that you're not going to see, you know? Like he sees vulnerabilities that you don't see. Are there any high-level boxers that are, are openly talking about transitioning to MMA? Do you know? Not that I know of. I think it's um, never, it's Anthony never Jacobs thought, has though. joked about it. You know, the heavyweight champion, and, yeah. or Joshua, Anthony Joshua. Why do I call him Anthony Jacobs? Anthony Joshua is his name, right? Jesus Christ. Um, you know, Klitschko used to be a kickboxer. Did you know that? His nope. brother especially. I think his brother was like a world champion, PKA karate style kickboxer. But um, no, none that I know of, man. Floyd talked about it apparently. Dana, this is one thing I can tell you. Dana told me that Floyd wants to make a deal in the UFC. Like legitimately. And I go, did he? Re I, so I texted him. I go, is Floyd really talking about fighting MMA? He goes, yeah, he's fucking crazy. I told him he'd get killed, but he's still talking about doing it. Hmm. Whoa. For us, a hobby teases GSP versus Mayweather or McGregor as next fight. We need a mega fight. Okay, let me just stop this nonsense right there. <laughs> GSP just fought at 185 pounds. If you fucking really think that Floyd Mayweather is going to fight GSP, shut the fuck up. Just stop. <laughs> just stop it. Floyd Mayweather is going to be like, a, a pass? That guy's yeah. huge. Yeah. GSP is so big. It would have to be like, like Jose 155. Aldo or something. You'd have to get GSP to die it down to 155, and he would be so depleted. And making 155, Floyd would light him up like a Christmas tree. If Floyd didn't light him up like a Christmas tree anyway, I mean, they're going to fight in MMA, he gets smushed 100%. And There's McGregor no way to stop him. would never fight 185 GSP. No. No, no But way. they might fight at 170 if the money was right. If, if, if McGregor won't take it. I don't know about that, man. That could be a mega, mega fight. That could be a $20 million fight. Connor might want an extra 20. Spend a lot of money on Versace. He's always wearing furs and shit. <laughs> Fly it around in private jets. That shit's pricey, man. What is the latest with McGregor? Like, what's going on, like, today? Hashtag balling. That's what's going on. Is that what he, is yeah, that what he tweets? Yeah, he's on top of the world, man. Look, that guy, let him enjoy this. He's got plenty of time to come back to fighting. Just have fun, man. Stare at your watches. Take Instagram pictures of your dick. Who cares? You're the fucking man. You made $100 million. You're not even 30. Relax. Do whatever the fuck you want. No need to force him to come back and fight. But if he does come back and fight, if he, if he thinks an MMA fight with GSP is a good idea, like that's a big guy. He's very big. Yeah. George St. Pierre is one of the best fighters of all time. He's going to take that fight. He's so fucking no good at grappling. But Connor might go fuck it. No. Fuck it. Give me a couple months to put no. some weight on. <laughs> that's not a good fight for him. But if that's where all the money is, who knows? I think Tony Ferguson is the fight. That's the fight I want to see now. Of in, course. Until I see what happens with Barbosa and Nurmagomedov. Right? The problem is. If Barboza and Nurmagomedov fight and Nurmagomedov smashes Barboza, he's got to be next in line for the title fight, right? No. You don't think so? Connor's no. not fighting. Tony is the... Oh, oh, but... Connor's not fighting. Yeah, if he's, well, then he has right? to vacate, right? What does it say here? Sorted rounds tonight at SGB, BG... Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> he's training. I mean, he's definitely not fat. You look at him there. He's in shape for sure. I mean, but he might just be working on his skills. He's got a hundred million dollars. I would not be mad at a world fight if they decided to like strip him of his belt and have Tony versus Khabib for the undisputed title. I wouldn't be mad at that. Yeah, that will probably happen. I would not be yeah. mad at that. I like that fight. Tony's so fun. He's so wild to watch, man. You know, like when he was fighting Kevin Lee and he's walking towards him with his hands down and just pot shotting him and slowly wearing on him, slowly chipping him away, and then to finish him off his back. Come on, man. That's sweet. How many people get finished off their back these days? There was days? a lot of sweet things that um, that he came up with right there. Like uh, working, you know, there's different ways you can get up off your back with the cage or like basic wall walking and stuff like that but you can't wall walk on everybody right it, you it, it all depends on where your level of wall walking is and how good is, is your opponent at countering that what did you so, think when kevin lee walked in with the with obvious staph infection on his chest did you notice it i was like cool <laughs> i hope he's weak <laughs> 
<laughs> crazy he's forced to Tony fight. said to, they asked Tony did you notice his staff he goes yeah I was trying to punch it <laughs> <laughs> but what what tone the way Tony got up off the cage yeah. when when Kevin Lee put him up against the cage he actually can opened him from the bottom in full guard so Tony was head was against the cage mm -hmm. and Kevin Lee's head was right here, so he basically did like a Muay Thai clinch, like a um, can opener from right. the bottom, so he couldn't get hit. And then he had he had um, his left foot on the hip, and his right leg was just around his his ribs. And then at the right time, Kevin was naturally trying to push, out, pull out, because he was holding him in. He couldn't hit him. He was safe against the cage. And then Tony put both feet on the hips, pushed him up, kicked up, and then just stood up. at all.